do you get this confusion that how much free will do i have how much can i change things how much can i improve how much can i degrade how much can i accept and how much should i not accept <laughs> all right so these are some interesting uh, questions which we will try to answer today and yes if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is constantly getting worried about destiny versus free will okay and if you want a consultation from me regarding how much free will or how much destiny you have then you can go to my website down in the description section of my video and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you find destiny and free will <laughs> okay so somebody asked me a question that how what what actually free will is so you will always see in youtube or if you go to some spiritual programs that uh, there are these two extremes one extreme is that everything is fixed you cannot change anything so whatever is happening to you just accept it anyways you can't change anything and the other extreme is they say there is nothing called as destiny everything is in your hand there was one person who once said kar lo duniya mutthi mein we all know who is that person right <laughs> But the question is, why always are free will and destiny? Why are they portrayed as if they are each other's competitors? People say that okay, maybe some part of your life is destined, maybe some of it is not. So today we will see what actually is destiny and what actually is free will. Then we will understand this better. So what is destiny? destiny means what is supposed to happen to you when i say what is supposed to happen to you it means it is actually going to happen you cannot stop because if you say this was supposed to happen to me but it didn't happen then it's like saying it's like saying uh, i don't know to speak english but then how do i speak that in english right so suppose i say that i changed what was supposed to happen but then you are contradicting yourself because if you have changed it then that was never supposed to happen yes it's a self contradictory statement that i changed something which was supposed to happen so destiny means according to your past previous karma what you did to somebody else that same thing happens to you good or bad and that is something which you cannot change what what do you mean when you say that you cannot change cannot change means that you will feel that irrespective of your external circumstances so suppose you you used to beat somebody in your past life then maybe in this life that person beat this that person beats you up in this life so you cannot stop that beating but then what is free will now what what is the definition of free will that people have given people think free will is to extend that you can change that destiny which is you know so called fixed but actually that's not what free will is free will and destiny exist independent of each other independent means not exactly independent but still which means that free will is 100% and destiny is 100% now what is free will free will is simply how you react to that 100% destiny which means suppose somebody comes and beats you okay because maybe you beat that person in some lifetime otherwise that person cannot beat you 
So now that is destiny that you are being beaten by that person that you cannot change. But now the free will is after that person beats me, what do I do? Do I go and beat up somebody else? And most of the people do this. Not at a physical level, but suppose you will see um, a man, maybe he's working in a company and then the boss shouts at him. And then maybe when he goes home, he will shout at his wife or at his children. Have you seen that happening? If yes, then write it in the comments. This is one small example. Maybe you have had some fight in the home. And then maybe you are a teacher. So next day when you go to the college to teach your students, you blast one of your students right and left. You punish the student millions of times more than what he or she deserves. So that is how the person is using the free will. So free will is simply something which is destined, how you react to it. That's what is free will. So free will is also there 100% because you can always choose to respond rather than reacting. So free will and destiny are not at war. They were never, they are not, and they will never be at war. Because both of them are independent. So now the question is, what happens when we use our free will in a right way? So let's take an example. So suppose by karma, by predestined karma or whatever you call it of past lifetimes, a man is destined to have a very bad health which he cannot stop suppose let's assume and it's so bad that he barely can do or he can barely survive so that is his destiny that he cannot change but now what is free will free will means even if you have those problems what kind of foods do you eat are you taking alcohol or are you eating meat or are you a vegetarian are you a sattvic person or are you a rajasic person or are you a tamasic person either of these three or somewhere in between so now what happens when you use your free will properly which means you do not eat meat you do not take alcohol, you do not eat things which are not good for your body and for your soul, of course, and you do not smoke. Then what happens? You are now using your free will in the right way. So now what will happen is he will be able to cope up with the existing destined problems in a much better way. Otherwise, suppose a person is destined to have physical problems in his body. And then apart from that, he's eating meat every day, once in a week, once in a month. Nobody eats once in a month. Very rarely they eat once in a week sometimes, <laughs> most of the people. Oh, there are people I know who eat once every day. I know people who, if they do not have flesh in their plates, they don't get sleep. Forget about eating. So if that is your situation, then what happens? Now the destiny is there that you, you will have a bad body, for example, health problem. Then now you are spoiling it. You are making it even worse. So this is the result of using free will in a bad way, in a negative way. If somebody is shouting at you, that's your destiny. You can't stop it. And free will is... Do you respond properly in the way you should do or do you also shout back? So when you shout back, what happens? You are creating another karma. Yes. Now does not shouting does not mean not to shout. It necessarily does not mean that you just don't do anything and you just stay mum. What to do? You know, you'll get karma. No, it's not like that. 
if suppose somebody is shouting at us then either we shout or we run away from that place or we stay calm and we ask the person the my dear sir my dear madam what's the problem why are you shouting at me <laughs> because that person who is shouting he will not shout without any reason unless he is insane so we have to be calm and we have to ask the person that can i please help you <laughs> but instead of that suppose you say oh you are shouting at me wait i will rip you apart where's the gun maar diya goli leke uda diya usko so then what happens you create another destiny free will decides your future destiny so that means it is highly essential that we use our free will in the right way because if you do not then that so called destiny will just keep extending life after life after life punarapi jananam punarapi maranam <laughs> it's a very famous shloka right everybody knows from where it is maybe you can write it in the comments from where it is so now but when we use our free will the right we see the example is given of a cow so suppose there is a pole to which a cow is tied and then the cow uh, is given some space to go around that pole so she is just walking like this you know round and round around the pole and then the master who is uh, feeding the cow he comes and sees that oh you know the cow is very nice so then what he does he says okay i will make the rope a bit longer so that she can instead of going like this she can go like this she can you know kind of have some more rounds <laughs> but suppose the cow is very good very peaceful very nice behavior is very good then what happens then maybe the master comes and opens the rope and he just says oh i let you free because he knows that the anyways the cow will come back to my place but if the cow behaves in a wrong way then what will happen they will the master will come and make the rope more short or maybe he will make it so short that there's no rope actually he will tie the cow directly to the pole so that the cow cannot move so the cow's space that rope will depend upon the free will free will means how the cow is using that free will and if you do not want to create further karma when i say karma basically it's like negative karma then we have to be in a sattva guna only then we can stop this otherwise it's not possible which means we have to be in the mode of goodness we we should have a proper schedule we should get up early in the morning chant mantras during the brahma muhurat brahma muhurat is one and half hours before the sunrise okay then you maintain a sattvic lifestyle you eat good food not rubbish garbage not all this junk food <laughs> fresh food which is cooked that day preferably if we are having things in our plate like meat then we try to reduce it and eventually give it up completely 100% because that will not do justice to our consciousness as the scriptures say yes and then drinking putting poison inside your body alcohol is what it's poison basically suppose tomorrow i tell you that hey sir you know there's uh, a glass of poison will you drink 
no sane man will drink that no sane man <clears throat> but alcohol is what they will <clears throat> process it in such a way that the poison looks like nectar amrit yes then smoking so <clears throat> when we are doing that then we are degrading ourselves by using our free will in a wrong way okay and we should also chant mantras read the scriptures <clears throat> in the weekend visit uh, holy places or spiritual centers within our society within our state and of course have good link with our guru and with our god brothers with our god sisters take enlightenment from them then we will know how to use our free will in a right way <coughs> otherwise we will not even know what to do in life otherwise we will we will just exist and never live there are many people who just exist but very few lives so when you read the scriptures like the bhagavad gita or the shrimad bhagavatam then you will know how great personalities behaved when difficult situations came upon them from the mahabharat you can take the example of yudhishthira maharaj perfect character we have the example when uh, the yaksha was testing the pandavas he was yamaraj actually the yaksha said to bhima to arjuna to nakul and said them that unless you answer my questions you cannot drink the water and if you still drink i will kill you and you will fall down to the ground dead and all the pandavas they fell down except yudhishthira of course so then yudhishthira maharaj came and his he was so thirsty my god and then what happened he heard this voice that this yaksha is telling if you want to drink this water answer my questions <laughs> otherwise you will also die like your brothers and then yudhishthira maharaj said okay i am ready to answer your queries he knew that there is a higher authority somewhere i cannot be whimsical and do what i want the acceptance of higher authority is reinstantiated in scriptures like the ramayana the mahabharat shrimad bhagavatam again and again and again and again and then what happens he answers all the questions to the yaksha and then what happens the yaksha says i am very happy with your answers <laughs> so now i have given you option among all your four brothers you can choose one of their lives i will revive them again that person again but only one and then what he says he says i want sahdev and this yaksha was like what have you <laughs> have you lost it pagal ho gaye ho kya he said that come on man you are in the forest now there is going to be a fratricidal war between the kurus and the pandavas you should choose either arjun or bhim because they are the ones who will inflict the maximum damage not nakul and sahdev although they also eventually inflicted a very severe damage but it was still not at par with what bhima and arjuna did bhima wiped off he extinguished the earth from all the kauravas yes but then yudhishthir maharaj says that no i can choose arjun or bhim but Arjun Bhim and myself we are the sons of Kunti and from three of us i am already alive and from uh, Madri who is his stepmother the other wife of Pandu Nakul and Sahdev are there so 
if from kunti one of them is already alive which is me so from madri also one should be alive and then uh, he says that and kunti likes uh, sadev the most so among nakul and sadev i will select uh, sadev <laughs> Of course, there are some different versions to this story. Some say he selected Nakul, etc. But that's not important. The point here is, he he s- sets the standard of how to use our free will. And then what happens? Do you remember the cow's example? The rope becomes longer, 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 and longer. And then what the yaksha does? He says, "Wow." you are great <laughs> there's nobody like you so i give you the life of all the four brothers back and then bhima arjuna and nakul said they all four of them they stood up and yudhishthira maharaj embraced all of them and this yaksha turned into yamraj he said i am your father i was just testing you <laughs> i knew you will pass the test full marks 10 on 10 maybe 100 all right so this is the example this is what happens when you use your free will properly okay so that is what i would like to say that free will and destiny are not at war you simply have to understand them in the right context okay then the problem is solved otherwise you will keep fighting okay you know this was my free will this was destined this happened that happened so the conclusion is very simple whatever happens you cannot change and don't try to change it just do your best and leave the rest to god because lord krishna says in the gita sarva dharman parityajya maam ekam sharanam raja aham tvam sarva pape bhyo mokshayishami ma sucha surrender all varieties of religion and surrender unto me abandon all varieties of religion i mean and surrender unto me i will free you from all suffering ma sucha hard do not fear all right so we have only the living entity has only the capacity to use his free will in the right way the living entity does not have the power to change karma or destiny or whatever you call it okay so there you go if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe hit the thumbs up and if you want a consultation then please go to my website down below in the description section you will find the link okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him bye bye